In this video, I'm going to cover the process of testing the Sun Microsystems XPR 4000 graphics accelerator, making use of a piece of software called GPU Bench. This is a very interesting piece of benchmarking software as it puts the GPU through a variety of tests and is very accurately able to determine what the various strong points and weak points of the GPU are. I obtained this piece of software from a member on IREX Network who goes by the name of Swarm. Swarm has a very interesting website where he has the software available for download and he also has the results published from various GPUs that have been tested making use of this software. And it's very interesting to see how the various GPUs compare with each other. My V880 is currently set up to have forced anti-aliasing and it's not advisable to run these tests with anti-aliasing enabled as it really has a negative impact on the results. So I'm going to start off by setting the machine to have multi-sampling disabled. In order to do this I'm going to open up the terminal and open up my GPU settings text file and I'm going to tell it to disable multi-sampling. Okay, in order for these changes to take effect, I need to reboot the machine. So I'm going to do so. Now that the forced anti-aliasing has been disabled, I can continue with the tests. So I'm going to open up the terminal again. I'm going to open up GPU Bench. Okay, and I'm just going to CD into the appropriate directory. And run the tests. And there it starts. Okay, so the tests are now complete. So I'm quickly going to show you where the results are published. So I'm going to go into my documents folder and go into GPU Bench. And within this directory, you get GPU Bench output f640hi.csv. This is the output file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this file to my Mac, and it's represented in a Excel type format, so then we can see what the results are. Here's what the test results look like when viewed on the Mac. And as you can see, they are neatly represented in an Excel type format. And there's quite a bit of information present. The information that's most important, however, are the frames per second for the various tests, the full rate, the triangle rate. Here you have the window width as well as the window height being 640 by 480. The color bits are 32, and the depth bits for certain tests were 24. And here's how the test results appear when viewed on Swarm's website. As you can see here are the results for the XVR4000. This is with anti-aliasing as well as without anti-aliasing. And it's very interesting to see how it compares with various other cards that he's tested. The one thing to take note of when talking about the XPR4000 is that it's not a very good general purpose GPU at all. It seems to have been designed for a very specific purpose and as a result has extremely good internal color precision as well as high precision real-time anti-aliasing. And I would say that the field that it was more than likely designed for was the field of molecular modeling. And it seems to be very suited for this purpose. So, as far as the XPR4000 is concerned, I certainly wouldn't recommend you use it as a general purpose GPU. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.